grandfather thinks this town is cursed. That all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing. An evil thing. I saw him too. What happens when another Georgie goes missing? Or one of us? Are you just gonna pretend it isn't happening like everyone else in this town? If we stick together, we'll win. Hey, it's Madison again with MHP Pictures. Instead of Tim and Nate from last week's video, I have Michael, our cinematographer, Dylan, our one of our main editors on the projects. Keep that, homies. <coughs> this week we're reviewing 2017's remake of Stephen King's It. What did y'all know about It beforehand? Uh, well, I've heard about the book and the original movie uh, since probably like seventh grade. At You're least. the only one who actually saw it, though. Yeah, right? I, I, I've seen the original TV movie, part one and two, about two years ago. I really like it. Uh, the first part's better. I think the portion with the kids is, was a stronger part, even in the, even from what I've heard from the book. What about you, Mike? Um, originally, I really had no knowledge of either the book or the uh, original movie. I mean, I heard a lot of anticipation about this one, this one coming out this year, but, you know, other than that, I really didn't know anything about uh, the story at all. From really all I really knew about the film going into it was, of course, you know, the, all the hype about it. Bill Skarsgård plays Pennywise, and sort of, like, him as an actor trying to fill in Tim Curry's shoes from the original, like... I think it was 80s or 90s, was it? 80s 1990. 1990. And so, like, trying to fill in, like, those shoes, because, like, Tim Curry is, like, a phenomenal actor, and Bill Skarsgård definitely has his skill, but not as, a, like, right far as Tim Curry. So, a quick synopsis of it. It follows, like, a small group of kids in this little town of Derry during the summertime as all these other neighborhood kids start disappearing, and it's, like, an epidemic. They soon find out that this creature is something that they all share in terms because it's haunting all of them and they basically have to unite together to try to see if they can fight it and what makes it so intimidating as a creature is because it literally strikes all of their most personal and utmost fears um, they don't they all see the clown but they all also all have their own personalized version of what they fear the most for one kid it's a leper because he's a germaphobe another kid it's like this creepy looking distorted lady from a picture um, and so on and so on. So what was y'all's thoughts like after leaving the theater? I was I was very impressed. I really did like the group of kids. Phenomenal casting. Uh, same with Bill Skarsgård. He's great. There's a few things that I kind of miss from the uh, original adaptation. Like I miss them building the dam together. But something they, they kind of supplemented that with was Bill getting them to go try to find his his brother, which it kind of gives his stand by me kind of vibe. So that's not a big missing point. And uh, the kid who who, uh, who plays Richie, he was he was great too. Still, Seth Green was better. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with Seth Green. <laughs> I I really enjoyed it because it just had so many different elements in it. You know, it had horror, comedy, uh, suspense, thriller, and I felt like each of those elements they didn't derive from the fact that it was a horror movie. It kind of just added to the, uh, like just the film as a whole really especially like you know the elements of comedy that it had in it because there were some points where you know it was just it was laugh out loud and yeah the whole the whole theater would, was yeah that, that was one of the strongest points for me in the film the reason why I loved it so much because I thought the writing was so good compared to like other films I had seen and it sort of made me realize like why Hollywood goes after a lot of these books and like turns them into movies and while well, a lot of the fans of the books will get annoyed at like Hollywood taking stuff out but like yeah 
you know, you, uh, you have to. There's fit. only so much you can fit in, right? In like a two-hour span, yeah. and, and uh, I there's thought, only so much you can afford telling, right? <laughs> like, you, right. There's certain, certain storylines you're like, yeah, this just acts that now, yeah, and yeah. I have to deal with. I, it. <laughs> uh, I definitely thought that the writing was really strong. All the writing really seems to sort of help form the different characters and their different personalities, and really make them all seem very unique and useful for the most part. Something I want to jump off something Michael said about. Uh, about kind of the horror elements and all that, and uh, how he how he kind of preyed upon their individual fear fears, but he also he also kind of had a conglomerate fear that he preyed preyed upon too when they were together, like uh, when they're going through the slideshow, and like he he gets all of them. Something I really liked about that scene was just when you think it's over, it continues and it. And it doesn't. It doesn't feel stretched out. It feels like it feels natural. The way it just creeps along and pulls you right back into that like fear and tension. Right. And then you think it ends again. You think they're safe, and then he comes out again. Is I, yeah. I really think that that was well done. The way yeah. That what happened. I really love too is that like of course the main brunt of the story is all about Pennywise and scaring the kids and like haunting this town. Mm -hmm. But if you notice. It, it's, it doesn't even take, like, an analytical mind to really pick up on this. Because it's, like, pretty obvious that, like, all the parents are horrible. Yeah. All yeah. the adults in the film Which, are uh, either apathetic to the horror going on in this town, aren't doing anything about it, really, or, or, or if anything, are getting in the way of, like, <laughs> getting anything done. And it's, it's horrifying. And it makes you... Realize that Stephen King's book kind of has a lot more meaning, and the story as a whole kind of has a lot more meaning, not just about like growing up, coming of age, or the story about like facing fear, but also about well, I thought it came across as like very deconstructing what we think of as small town USA. Yeah. You know, kind of showing that it's not all white picket fences and like a perfect family unit, that even in these picturesque sort of little towns, it's very dark, very There's scary. There's still problems everywhere else. Exactly, and I yeah, thought yeah. that was that was really good because you saw hints of racism, uh, sexual assault culture, and like all this all this sort of conglomerated just in this small little town uh, among these kids, and I thought that was what also really made it more than just like oh that was a fun movie to see it. For me, that was the point when it stopped being just a movie and almost it became like cinema. You know, on top of the fact that they're already. In fear of like this this killer clown that only they can see and adults just aren't aware of at all then almost like every like uh, kid character in the movie has to deal with this like problem at home with their parents yeah. also yeah yeah I yeah it's like, it's, it's like this it, constant state of like angst <laughs> like their age their parents their small town <laughs> and now bullies. a fucking yeah and yeah. Now, now like a and now a psychopath <laughs> killer clown can that has make demon them hallucinate powers. Anything. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Welcome to high school. <laughs> so, Actually, yeah. it's junior high. Is it junior school. high? I thought they they're, were high they're thirteen years yeah, old. Oh, I don't. The younger. He doesn't know what whatever ages. they are. How do y'all think Bill Skarsgård did compared to Tim Curry? From what you'll know about Tim Curry. Pop, 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 He's, he was definitely <laughs> creepy. He, he got a couple, he got some good laughs from me. Egg boy. Egg boy. Egg boy. <laughs> like, I'll be honest. There, there were some moments where instead of like, maybe when I should have been like scared, I was actually just laughing at Bill Skarsgård yeah. as Pennywise. But it didn't ruin the experience. It wasn't like, oh, this is a cheesy horror movie that I'm just laughing at. This is like, no, this is a really well-produced horror movie. But just like this weird sort of surreal situation they're in either I mean, leads you to either be horrified or laugh yeah. and I, I don't know just I mean, me as I mean, a person was hold laughing hold up hold up psychopathic entities that feed on fear can be funny too okay oh. you're a <laughs> weird child <man. laughs> so overall I thought again just the writing was really good and the way they balanced like you know all the different plot lines all the different characterizations while still telling a really good story and delivering a lot of really great dialogue lines you know what one critique we did have uh, last night after watching it was uh, was the girl bully 
It was like she she, she like kind of had like two yeah. scenes and that that was it. There was no development in her character. Yeah, was she was the only character that, oh, that, and, that uh, wasn't really developed. Yeah, she, she was story. there at the beginning of as like Beverly's bully, mm-hmm. but didn't really like show up with her character later on in the movie. But yeah, I think, I think there was enough there like with her father already at home that that didn't really matter as much. So I mean, I it, I was... it kind of sets you up with kind of word of mouth that's been going around about right. Beverly. That's, right. I mean, it did set that up, which was good. And that's kind of yeah. present but throughout like, the whole film, too. Yeah, other than that, she didn't offer much yeah. anything. Overall, what are y'all's kind of like concluding thoughts about it? I mean, it was definitely one of the better experiences I've had from any movie that came out this year. And I would definitely recommend anybody wanting to see it or just on the border about seeing it because it, it, was, it was really a great movie. With this film, it's going to be just really easy to recommend this because there was so much hype. Yeah. Uh, especially right after, like... It wasn't let down. Right. Not, not at all. No. Right. And really especially, like, right too. after Stranger Things, <laughs> this is, like, a perfect time to, like, slip in an It remake, really. <laughs> and so, it, was, it was so similar to Stranger Things. I don't know if any of y'all seen it, but, like, it was just... Yeah. It reminded me so much of that at times. Yeah. I mean, it and had it was, one of the cast really members, too. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. yeah. he played Richie. I mean, it's, it was it was a great film. I really enjoyed it. had a had very good balance, good writing. Uh, the way they they scared you was good. Like I, I know a couple times, like it, they didn't just rely on jump scares. They really like just pulled up the creep factor on you, where like it's it's hard to watch what's going on. You know, you like you kind of feel what's good, what's about to happen. So you're kind of fighting with yourself of whether or not you should watch what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's it's done really well. It's real solid. So yeah, we recommend it. Go watch it. 